I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S3 Neo. You know, this phone, eh? I got this phone, I think like one and a half year ago. I'm not sure you should check out my list when I got this phone. I think maybe even two years ago. I bought this thing for 15 euros because it was totally cracked. You see that? I put some uh, display protection onto the screen so I don't feel the cracks. So this thing feels like, like new. However, this phone was always a sort of, yeah, sorrow child to say it this way. There, were, there was totally no development going on. Yes, there was, but all unofficial and cam would not work. And then you had to flash this and then another file and then, you know, it would work. But then still, it would never be perfect. Maybe with the lucky ROM it was. I don't even know. I think the best ROM was the Android 6 that I used until yesterday. You know that this year many things kind of happened in my life and around May, uh, April, I had to go to South America to my mom because she was very sick. Uh, unfortunately, she's not there with us anymore. She uh, passed away. Um, so this phone, in fact, I never got the chance to see the development after the last video that I created because every two three months you know I get back to a certain phone and then I check out what's the latest development and what's the best software out there for that phone and then you know I update it and make a little video about it so then I saw that that somewhere in in April or May this year um, Lineage OS official suddenly brought this phone into their into their into their system out of nothing and this phone at this point has an official android 9 it's, it's unbelievable this thing even has a developer that is doing some treble project for this phone so this phone <laughs> Um, could technically at this point already run Android 10. Probably many stuff will be broken, cam will not work again and we will fall back into a situation that we were in already before you know the official development uh, was brought to this phone by Lineage OS. But now that it's brought to the phone, I could really not believe it. I had to recheck you know the the code name is it really this phone let me see i saw some access behind it and i was you know what we just gonna give it a try and i did and i installed it and you don't want to believe it people uh this phone the samsung galaxy s3 neo has an official android 9 out there so we're gonna install it real fast i'm gonna show you what it is Okay, if you still have the S3 Neo uh, on the official firmware, what you should do is uh, go into the developer's option. I don't think that the bootloader is locked, um, but just check, make sure to go into the developer's option, go to, you know, settings in, in, in your Android, and then look for the build number and tap it eight times until it says you enable developer's options. Look into the developer's options. You know, and see if you see something like uh, unlock um bootloader and, or, or um unlock. Just tap that one on and then the bootloader will be ready to, uh, to receive twerp. Now you will need uh, a version of twerp, uh, especially for this phone. Uh, I, I, will, I will search for the link and then I will put it. That's only for the people that are still on the official firmware. But those that already have twerp installed, uh, in fact, you guys are ready to go. So let me bring you on the tripod. Let me show you what it is. And then we're going to delete it and do the whole thing again. So you can see the complete process, exactly how long it takes, etc, etc. So welcome to channel 48. My name is Puck and thank you for tuning in.
Okie doke. Welcome back. There we are. So um, this is uh, yeah what I made from it, including uh, my mod that I flashed on top of the room. But let me first show you that this is uh, the S3 Neo, but that you already saw. Can't even find the settings. Wait, hold on. Let me put it a little bit lighter like this can you all see it yes not too light no looks good eh? the screen is just amazing um settings you see that lovely yeah maybe now it's a little bit too light let's put it a little bit lower like that okay so this looks better about the phone and here you can see it android 9 And here is the name of the phone, the 9301i, see that? So yeah, this is a system that is receiving updates and you don't want to believe it, everything works. I was so amazed to see this. I was so happy for this phone. Because in fact, I, I gave up on this phone long time ago already. And then boom. Lineage OS, somebody there decided to fix it and they did. You can make pictures and oh, turn the cam. It's a little bit slow, the cam, but it works. Um, we can put it on video. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. So that is really amazing, don't you think? And I also have my own launcher. I'm using the Nova launcher. I also like Launcher. Launcher is as well nice. I have two APK stores, eStore and APK Pure. That's what I'm, I'm using. Okay, so let's go ahead and install it and let me show you what it is. Go into a recovery mode. So in fact, I'm very happy with this device still now, thanks to that, thanks to this amazing development. We just do a wipe, Dalvik system, data and catch. Then go home and we hit install the NetOS. And I will not flash my mod yet. We're gonna first start up the system. It was created on the 11th of December. This phone is so lucky. I have no idea why it took so long to adopt this phone. That while the Samsung S3 i9300 was kicked out. That phone has only development from uh, active development from E. E Foundation. They support that phone. And then suddenly Lineage OS took this phone. Amazing. I find it really amazing. So now you might get worried a bit about the 
first start of screen it takes a little bit longer okay it, you will be like hey the thing is bricked nothing is happening just count get a stopwatch and follow what's gonna happen that's just what it is and that's how it became this is still an old phone, last firmware for this thing was I think 4.12 or maybe KitKat, can't remember, it's way back. I think I got it with KitKat or Jelly Bean. And then I immediately updated it to 7.12 at that time, you see that, boom, that's how long it takes. And then you're gonna see Lineage OS booting up. Screen is heavily cracked. Uh, the proximity sensor also has a problem. When I make a phone call, screen goes black. But I found a trick how to fix that. I will show that immediately as well. Because it could happen to you as well. Because we're gonna make a phone call. And there we are already. It's unbelievable. I mean, that's pretty fast for this old phone. Booting Android 9, I think that is amazing. You see that, it found the SIM card. Next. 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 Startup. Boom, and there you go. One lovely system. Boom, there you go. Flash goes on, dang, and it makes a picture. Hey, what happened? Oh, it rebooted. Okay, so, so, so yeah, probably that can happen. Okay, because I did the reboot. When I installed it, I immediately did a reboot. So, and then I went back into recovery to flash my mod. But there's a problem when I flash my mod. Let me show that to you. I will need to remake a special mod for this phone. I'm gonna go back into recovery. I missed it, damn it. Go back into recovery. Volume down and power. We'll turn off the device and then volume up. We're back in peeps. There we go, twerp. Very light. And then I'm gonna install. I'm gonna install my emote. But then my boot animation will be gone. There's something wrong with the with the mod reboot and now it's gonna stay on the logo on this logo until we are in the home screen so now you might think that it's bricked but this is the new way of booting your phone it stays on the start screen until the system is booted up And of course, the waiting time from, you know, from this screen to official, the boot animation, uh, that is included. So yeah, the time is not getting shorter or so. It has to do with the boot animation that I pushed into this mod. You see that? And there we are in the home screen. <laughs> and that's it so now i have all my applications the phone is being started up you see and now i have a whole lot of launchers i have the car launcher the nova launcher the bliss launcher i'm just gonna go for the nova 
and then I'm gonna set it up the way I like and there we are we installed Android 9 on our how old is this phone let me think um, Samsung S3 I think it was from 2014 so this this phone is five years old it was launched in April 2014 so for a five year old phone I think Android 9 is very decent so I want to give all credits to the Android uh, yeah, okay how can we call them huh? the Android Kings out there of this the official kings of this phone is nobody else than lineage os <laughs> nobody wanted to work yeah we had some developers i showed many videos as well even android 9 for this phone i think but there was always something wrong with it always and uh this what I have, this problem that I have when I make, make a phone call, I'm just gonna call the provider. My screen goes black. You see that? So there is a trick for that. Um, if you as well have this problem that you cannot see but you can only hear, but you can as well not hang, out the, hang up the phone, just grab a little plug and your thingy will be back. You see that? So, yeah, that is a problem with uh, with the proximity sensor in this phone. You see? By tapping on the top, it will as well go to sleep. So, um, what can I say about this ROM? Uh, yeah, I think this is amazing. And I think that, uh, yeah, the price of the S3 Neo will go up again on second-hand markets just because of this. Uh, so if you can find one, uh, yeah, cheap, I would buy one, you know, because these phones, they, yeah, they're pretty decent. They have a good screen. Uh, yeah, they fit in your pocket. You can still find accessories for them. Give it a display protection when the screen is still, you know, not cracked. Put it in some nice little case and you have a nice phone. I even painted this one. Still looks kind of good. I need to give them a paint job again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was it. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. As well, you know, two big thumbs ups for Lineage OS. I'm a little bit late with showing this video for this phone, but I still have it. So the snuif, as you this telephone will update this from a Dutch friend there. The moet je eventjes Lineage OS, uh, what is it, 16 installeren. Not sure if it's gonna get 17, but there is a travel project out there, and maybe the guy, you know, maybe I'm gonna do the travel project if I can, you know bring something fantastic to this phone but for now i think this is the most beautiful ever ever created custom room for this phone and that in 2019 so this phone will be very much usable still in 2020 so good luck there with your samsung s3 neo enjoy it and have fun so then i want to wish you a very beautiful weekend stay out of trouble and then i see you in the next video again until then bye 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 bye